They got along well enough with horses in search of my granddaddy's time, Hutton said. Or at least the white folks did, he added with a grim smile. Havel nodded. Hutton didn't have much formal education, but he was no fool. In fact, he was about the most all-round competent man Havel had ever come across, even out here in the backwoods. But they didn't get along without telegraphs, or steamboats, or without guns a hundred years ago, he said. Not for a long time before that. You'd have to go back a thousand years nearly, I think, before it wouldn't make a difference. Someone, something, wanted us knocked way down. Hutton made a final tie-off and fingered the knot. I hate to think the good Lord judged us that wicked. He promised to Noah no more water. But this time, he took away the fire. Could be, Havel said. He was actually an agnostic, but there was no way to disprove the Texan's idea. Myself? I think Ken's got it right. Someone out there, he pointed upwards, with a technology that makes ours, what we had, look like stone knives. Something so far beyond ours we can't understand it, and it's like magic. Like algebra to a monkey. Hutton looked aside at him. If it was some spacemen, what do you figure we can do about it? Nothing, Havel said bluntly. I figure we'll just have to live with what they've done to us, and we won't even find out why unless they tell us some day. In the meantime, we have to find a way to live in the world they gave us. You and I and our kids. Mine when I have them, that is. He looked at the sun. Let's start early tomorrow. We can make Lowell in three days, taking it easy. It's all down slope. One step closer to Larsdalen, Hutton said, smiling. If that's where we end up, Havel nodded. One step at a time. Lowell first. Ain't much in Lowell but about thirty people, Hutton observed. Right. But there'll be a fair number of other travelers stranded there. I want to look them over. We need recruits. We do? Hutton said. We do. Anywhere we end up, if it's worth having, someone else will want it too.